Yo guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be making this sparkly glow effect. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So firstly, you just want to duplicate your layer, your footage layer, and you want to rotoscope something out. So for this shot, we're going to use the hand. So let's go into full mode, rotoscope, double click to bring in the layer. Okay, so once your rotoscope layer is done, you want to freeze it in place. Okay, so once that's frozen in place, we can go back into our main composition. And if we just solo the rotoscope, you can see it's just a hand. So what you want to do, unsolo this and pre-compose. Move all attributes into the new composition. Double click this new composition. And we want to create two solids, so one acting as a background layer and one acting as a fractal noise layer. So we create a white solid, put that on the top, and we create a black solid and put this at the bottom. So on this top layer, we're going to add the effect fractal noise. And we're going to boost up the contrast. We want this to be like really contrasty, like mostly just black and white. You can adjust the brightness. I think I'm going to keep mine a bit low. I want more of the black. You can go into sub settings, change the scaling. Um, I'm going to put mine on 69.8%. So cool. So we have this still fractal noise layer. But we want it to animate, so hold Alt on the keyboard and go to the Evolution stopwatch and just click it. And it should bring up this expression. So the expression you want to type in is time times 500. So now you can see the fractal noise is animating. So cool. Let's just hide this for now. So we've got our hand layer. What we want to apply to this is an effect called Find Edges. And we want to invert this. Now we want to make it as contrasty as possible. So what we're going to do is add levels, but you can add curves as well. So let's bring this down. Bring this one to the left. And this one as well. So with and without see how more contrasty it is so once this is done just make this top layer visible again and change the blender mode to multiply now if you can't see your blender mode just toggle switches and modes and you'll be able to see it so let's go back into our main comp now and we have this black background so we want to remove that so apply unmult onto this and this just removes the black background so now just hide this background layer go into layer auto trace so you can change these numbers just according to your footage so let's try let's see what five does so it's added more masks into it let's try maybe two okay so once that's done we have a bunch of masks around the hand and they move with the hand So what we want to do is we just want to click here, go into mask. So with all of them selected, click this arrow, hold shift on the keyboard and just click this stopwatch. And this will just turn off the opacity for all of them. And we just want to turn this opacity down to zero. So still holding shift, just drag it to zero. And this will just change them all to zero. So now we just have the mask without all of those like white blobs. Let's hide this middle layer. So now we have our original footage and we have the mask layer. So on this mask layer, apply the effect Saber. Change the customized core to layer masks. Go into render settings, composite setting, change this to transparent. 
so now we have this like crazy glow so go into the presets and let's say electric for now so now we have this electric effect on the hand but still a little bit too strong so what we can do is go into the core size and change this to 0 0.2 we could change the intensity down a little bit oops change the intensity okay so let's see how this looks if you play it back so we already have this kind of cool glowy effect but we can still tweak it let's go into the glow settings maybe change the glow intensity multiplier we could change the flicker uh, put this maybe a hundred could change the speed let's say 30 let's see what this looks like now so that is basically the effect but you can change it to any of these presets and play around so you've got soft smoke um which ones do i like i like yellow smoke and then maybe change this down to 0 0.5 uh, put this in full you'll see exactly what it's doing so you still have these kind of visible lines so maybe not this one but yeah just play around and you'll be able to make like something really cool with it but yeah just play around and to see what works for you but yeah that's it thank you guys for tuning in for another tutorial um like subscribe comment follow me on instagram and yeah just let me know what tutorials you want me to do next and yeah i'll probably just do them for you Love.